Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the smallest Class A that gives you bunk beds and an outside kitchen. This is the 2021 with the brand new V8 engine, Winnebago Intent Model 31P. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then, we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at this Winnebago in 10. Uh, just because of the floor plan, bunk beds and an outside kitchen and it's so short, super excited to show you. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hi everyone. Hey Andrea, how's it going? It's going good. Baseball's back, are you excited? I am super excited. Yep, so wait. Go er Nationals. everybody knows we're Nats fans. That's right. And it's weird, it's gonna be like a 60 game year, but hey, the World Series, the World Series, and we're still the champs as of That's right now. Right. Cause baseball's not there. So uh, I'm just super excited about that. We're probably going to go up for opening day if they allow fans in. But uh, let's begin. Model is 31P, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 31 feet 10 inches long. This is powered on the new 7.3 liter V8 engine. It has 350 horsepower and 460 foot pounds of torque. It's just super badass and awesome. And um, when I'm a a little pet peeve of mine most manufacturers they'll put like the v8 or the v10 logo right there and this you can't tell from the outside so you got to be careful when you're shopping your 2021s um and how you can tell with this models from the inside but up front here you have a nice big windshield winnebago the intent they switched this about a year and a half ago to this new gray tone color i love that and you have cameras in your left blinker and right blinker in a really big mirror. Look at these tires, Andre. They're good years. They are 245-70R 19.5s. Right over here. We have your oh look at that. Look at it. Napa know-how. <laughs> <laughs> you got your Napa uh <laughs> deep cycle battery <laughs> and your uh dog lease thing. <laughs> We should include that in the videos from now on. We should get a sponsorship from right. Napa. <laughs> uh, we got your uh, storage container here. And then check this out. We do have a nice, look at this awning. Huge power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at this one all the way out. It's almost the whole length. And while the awning's coming out, I do want to touch that because this is a Winnebago Motorhome, they do use Asdale sidewall composite so it will never delaminate on you and we got more storage right there right here we got a little bit of power over here a little bit of storage kind of your wet bay and everything but check this out this is really neat oh Look at that. Wow. Outdoor entertainment and an outside kitchen. And a beer opener. Psh. Look at that. You got a sink that's plumbed through. Countertop extender. This has to be, oh my God, a drawer. I love the colors. Yeah. Oh, I think you're gonna like the inside of this. Right Very there, nice. you got your little fridge. You got a sink. Yep. What's that? Oh, drain pump. Just really cool. Yeah. Re really love the outside. I like the kitchen. cabinet colors are really pretty out here. Yeah. Well, they, they made some big improvements to the intents on the decor. Coming around the back, you do have a 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome cannot, uh, no, it can tow 5,000 pounds. You got a backup camera integrated in the light there. Fuel fill up in the rear. And then look at this ladder. Wow. I can do it though. You better did you do your stretches this morning. Yeah, I, I hope yeah, so. Yeah. Oh my God, God, you God, better get God. ready for that one. Also, you have a one piece cross flex PVC roof. Andrea, back up some, dear. Uh, 
<laughs> Let's go up there and take a look. I'm a little nervous. Hold my phone. I, I gotta tell you, I'm you a little ready? nervous about this. this. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. You're a monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one piece uh, cross flex roof with the PVC. You have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. You have these max air fan covers already installed. I love that. There's your King Air digital antenna. And then right here, you can see that it is prepped for solar. Hold on. Go now. Wow, you got a big jump. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that, I mean. Ugh. That's a dangerous jump. It sure but is. But it don't matter. Swell RV sales is gonna take his fat ass up on the roof and jump nearly for his life. Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. For sure. I mean, for real. I mean, look at that. That is pretty tall. Even for an athletic specimen like myself, yes. that's dangerous. Right here's Cummins own and generator. Whoa. That's a 4,000 generator and it had two AC units. Is this a 30 amp motorhome? It is a 30 amp motorhome. Wow. Oh, so they're using the 11K gen uh, AC units instead of the 15K. And then look at this. This is silly as well. I'll leave that for later. We'll leave that for later. You got your hookup and everything out here. You know, Andrea, another manufacturer tried to do the 30 amp system with two AC units. I remember. And uh, let's just say they went back to the the uh, 30 50 amp I mean more storage right there here's your hot water heater your potable water fill potable. and your potable potable and your black tank flush hey Namino drains hot out here you got storage right there and then oh I do like that here's your propane tanks right there also, Andrea, yes. we'll have these propane tank sizes, lengths, widths, everything down in the description below and right here bing, for everybody who is watching on television. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. After you. Slide in, okay. Cargo carrying capacity, 2,997 pounds. Wow, that's pretty good. Mm. Okay, so here I am walking to the bathroom. As you can see, you got a door to the bedroom here. Bed's on a slide. You can still use the bed though. I see it's just up for storage, but yeah, you can still access the bed, which is great. Great. Now while slide out's coming out, we have a huge favor to ask everybody. If you could, leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this new motorhome and three things you don't like about it. The more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our video to. And we thank you. Don't we, Andre? Yes, we do, absolutely. Okie dokie. I just had a moment there, you know. A moment? You know where your brain just goes? Yep. All right. Oh man. Oh, oh man. Wow. Look so look, big improvements from the doghouse from previous years. Okay, it's definitely not as up there. You don't have the cup holders, but I'm fine with that because it's lower and easier to get into. And then check out the steering wheel. Modern, nice. Push of a button, lights, brakes, everything. You got your, you know, your fuel economy. 121 this this guy averaged 7.4 miles a gallon getting here but he was probably towing a vehicle behind him which isn't that bad you know what i'm saying um just re really awesome stuff you can control everything you have your auto leveling over here oh yeah andre why don't you sit in the coke have to seat? hang on hang on look how easy that is y'all to get into look you don't need to like climb over it and hop over it 
You know what that is? Yep. Where does it go? So turn it around. Up towards like this way. Nope. This. Uh. Yep. Nope. Stop. You got to put it in there. Yes. Just like oh. that. Lift up. Oh. Okay. Well, at least I give you that option, guys. I yep. mean, it's a little flimsy, but. Hey, it's something. How do you feel up there in my co-captain seat? It's actually pretty comfortable. Uh huh. Um, I think the cup holder here. So yep. you go out in here. The chair is actually really comfy. Yeah, of and course. And they both swivel, right? Yep, they yes. both do swivel. And it is very easy to swivel. Oops, and you as you can there. see, there's this place for the pedestal table. Yep, and what I'm a huge fan of Winnebago swivel seats. Is oh, just yeah. Because it's very simple. It's not one of those 10 step seats. Right. You do have a bunk over the cab right here. It does hold 350 pounds. Uh, because it's hot, we're not going to drop it down. We need this AC rolling. Uh, and then over here in the living area, look at this. We got your sofa right here. I love this behind it, right? I do. I like cup that a holders, lot. Cup holders, everything. Nice big window. Okay. So we don't like these blinds, but I like the color of the blinds. And then again, look, the DIY white look. In, but I like it in the intent. And then the cabinetry. You can just tell. Good cabinetry. Good, strong cabinetry, big doors. And now that, that's a jackknife sofa. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me show you. Dang, damn it. Don't tell me there's like the lever thing you would do. Or just go like this. Maybe it's not one. Oh, it no, should it definitely makes a bed. It's just when they're brand new, sometimes they're hard. Dang, damn it. Sorry, y'all. Over here in the dinette area, let's look at this kitchen table. Yes, that's... I love that. That's an awesome place to hide your goodies. You got your table right here. Look at kind of what they're doing right here. Um, kind of like oh, okay. side padding's nice. You got your power, and I love how the sofa is directly across from the television. Yes. You know, a lot of times, Andrea, motorhomes in this category that gives you the bunk beds and the um, outside kitchen, they're 36 feet long. So yes. this one being 31, they really did a good job cramming everything in together. And this dinette does drop down and make a bed. And you got windows on both sides of the TV. But, Andrea. Yes. It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome is one hundred thirty-five thousand thirty-two dollars wow. MSRP. We have it currently twenty-five percent off. That's called map pricing because this is now the current model year, the twenty twenties. We can't advertise big discounts, but we have it twenty-five percent off to one hundred one nine nine five. Wow, that is a good price. But. We can get you an even better price than that. Sub $100,000, Andrea, tell everybody how to do it. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out our website, mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there is a contact me page on our website, Andrea. Let's continue the video. Okay, I want to point this out real quick. We've got a little closet here. Yep, coat actually, hanger. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can hang stuff. Usually they're really thin. Yep. These up, but I like that. Yep. I like the little, um, something that we missed. Look at this, you know, just to make it easy for support to get in and out, you know? And as you can see, you've got your solar charge controller and your panels here. But starting with the kitchen, you know, I do like these cabinets. Wow. Look how look how deep this yeah. is. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean that's that's insane. Got a window with the blinds. That's a lot of countertop space. Okay, so actually I like this because half the time when we come into these type of kitchens, uh -huh. they don't have any counter space. So at least they gave you this right here. Yep, it's very unique. Very nice. You got a double sink. Very nice. We got three drawers here. One, two, and three. Three, three drawers, Andrea. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. <laughs> you guys don't know how to count. Make sure you watch our channel. 
Got a cute little microwave. Uh huh. Got a three burner cooktop. Yep. Very nice. And an oven. Thank Fair. goodness. Yep. Thank goodness. Nice big drawer down here. Uh huh. And let's see. Missed. Oh, I missed that. Oh my goodness. Nice. Good space for a little trash can. No eighty-three dollar <laughs> trash can though. No. And over here we have the refrigerator. This is like a compressor, doesn't it? Uh, it is a compressor fridge. Yes. You are so smart. Thank you. And and talented. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Oh gosh, look at that one. Yeah, that's wow. pretty deep storage. Pantry here. Uh huh. Very nice. Yep. Very cool. Well, here's what I love. Look oh, at this bunker. Wow. Okay. I love how it flips up out of the way. So for closet space. And yeah, and you can hang stuff right there too. Yep. Nice. Good size bunk. You know, it's going to be good for, you know, 5'9", five, 5'10 five, person. Um, really good size. And then I just love the multi functionality. Oh, let me see. Oh, okay. It had the little thing. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, I like that. That's a big deal. I mean, it just works. No TV hookups in here, none of that crap. You know, you got, kids got their, um, well, one, this price point motorhome. The two kids got their iPads and everything. And you got a private, you got privacy curtains there. Yep. And they got their electrical outlet and USB there for their phones. It's awesome. I love that it goes up though. And here's the bathroom. All right. Okay. I like that shower. Interesting. I like yeah. it too. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Definitely better than that corner radius shower, but I will say. I do like that. Mm. <laughs> I will say it is still pretty tight, but better than that corner radius one. All right. You have a um, cabinet right there. Got a max air fan. Uh huh. Okay, so they get, that's where they put the cabinet because they don't have one right there in the yep. medicine cabinet. Okay, interesting. Nice little sink and everything. Got a, you got a little drawer down there, Matt. Look. Yep, yep, I see it. Dang, maybe. Better open it. I can't reach Our it. viewers like to see. All right. All right, let's see this toilet. That's plastic. Womp womp. Womp womp. Seems pretty high, but but it's... It's not. Your feet aren't dangling. Right, but it still seems pretty high, but I'm good. Toilet placement's in a ho good holder. It still fails because they put plastic in it. You know, it's like, I know it's entry level, but the cargo carrying capacity is 3,000 pounds. Put a freaking porcelain toilet in it. But don't worry. You buy it from Man Mance RV Reviews at General RV Center, and you mentioned this video, we'll throw in the porcelain toilet for free. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, so we got a pocket door going into the bedroom. Matt, I'm gonna yeah. go the other way. Okay. So put the bed down. As you can see, I I like the colors in here. Yep, the bed does raise up for storage, storage underneath. See, there's a step up there to get onto the bed. You got a yeah. queen size. This and, is a queen. It was weird. You saw it in there. There was a step over yeah, there. Yeah, this is a queen oh, size. Oh, you know why there's a step? Because the outside kitchen. Yeah. Yep. Well, look at look at the cabinetry. I mean, I, I miss that there's tables there, but there's no tables there. Yep. But wow, look at the storage on this. Yep. So as you can see, you got a little cubby here. You got another cabinet here with shelves. That's nice. And a drawer. Very nice. And you got the same thing on the other side. Yep. Across, you have a, a TV. Yep. I feel like. Is that open? It doesn't, but it has to. No, I don't think it does. Babe. I don't think it does. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Watch out. Open those two big drawers. Nice big drawers. Look. Nice. Big drawers. Big <laughs> drawers. Six of them. Six of them. And you and got then... the wardrobe right here. Mm hmm. Wow. And I will say, two the two AC units is nice. It is. It's so if this is going to be a 30 amp motorhome, the two 11s are better than the 115. But I just okay. Well, no, no, no. Let's restart. Andrea, it's now time. That's <laughs> it. That's the review. It's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay, one. I don't like the 30 amp motorhome with the two 11k units. Um, it's, but 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 that's also a pro, okay? Because if it is going to be a 30 amp motorhome, the two is better than the one. I just wish it was a 50 amp motorhome. Got it. So that's one. Windows cute. Two. We're going outside. 
Oh, do we have to? Well, we should have done the dislike. You know what, let's do the likes and then we'll finish up with the dislikes. Okay. So we did one dislike. Got it. And now, now it's time for three, th uh, so sorry y'all. <laughs> we, we just take it by the ropes. Uh, so three things we love about this motorhome. Again, the one pro is if it has to be a 30 amp motorhome, I do like the two AC units, okay? So that's one, Andrea, two. You know what, Matt? I'm gonna say, you know, I, I really like the floor plan here as far as the seating arrangements. And you know what? I like how easy this was to yep, around. Yep, 100%. The way Winnebago does it, yes. and, and I like it's the- so easy, and I wouldn't have had a hard time, which I normally do. Right, well normally it's like a 10 step process. Yeah. And, and here's what else I'm going to say. I like the arrangements in this motorhome, especially because it's only 31 feet long. And look, you, yeah, and you have a lot of seating in here. Yep. And not to mention the sleep placement. Yep, very nice. So that's two. And then three, I love this bunk. I love the simplicity. I love how you just have to go like that. Even that motion. So many times, you guys will see me on the reviews, I have to flip this up, but then the bed folds in like a weird way, and I gotta like shove it back there. Listen, you want it, it's down. You don't want it, it's up. There you go, very simple. Winnebago knows how to do it. Yep. Now it's time for two things we don't like <laughs> about this motorhome, and I got both of them. All right. And they're both outside. Yeah. <laughs> I love our show, Andrea. Hey, hey, it's 87 degrees in here, guys. <laughs> hey, you never, but but the but it doesn't feel like it. No, it the doesn't. On, it feels good, but. You never know how we do our show. Yep, we're real. Oh snap, can I add another like? Yes. Well no, this is to that floor plan. The outside kitchen is yeah, great. Yeah, definitely. Okay. The second thing I really hate about this motorhome, this ladder sucks. If I wasn't the athletic specimen that I am, <laughs> God's gift to RVs, and climbing ladders, I would not have been able to get up on this thing. You know, I mean, I had literally, I had to put my foot there to get up and that's not cool. They should have lowered it down. Yes. Or they should have put a bumper. Yes. To help get up there. So that's two. And then three, back here, there's, there, there's no auto transfer switch, okay? What that means is, here's what that means. Here's what that means. When, when you're camping and you're, you, you turn your generator on, the auto transfer switch will switch so the motorhome is running off the generator power. Then, when you go to the campground, you just take your power cord and you plug it into shore power and the auto transfer switch will click so now your RV's running off that shore power. What you have to do with this motorhome, if you're running off shore power when you're done, you have to plug it into the generator. There's no auto transfer switch. And I just feel like even if it's an entry level motorhome, that's kind of stupid. Yes. But that is one less thing to break. And Andre and I have been camping before. We went from Maryland to Florida and our auto transfer switch did break one time. So, you know, devil's advocate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we're keeping it simple. Um, so that's it. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this RV, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906. Ah! <laughs> why are you laughing? Because you, you're just cracking me up. 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Andre, you have anything you want to say? Yes. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Winnebago does read the comments and I can't wait to see what you guys say about this one. Exciting, the new 2021 Winnebago Intent with the new V8. Yeah, let us know how you like the yeah. V8. And uh, look at that tow truck taking that Camping World exclusive motor home away. <laughs> <laughs> Should have bought from Camping World. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.